Hi guys, back in October 2018, Zacharias Reinhardt, who is now called a CG Boost, published this video uh, where he puts an autofocus point in the center of the image and then when he moves the camera, uh, Blender automatically always focuses on the center which gives this nice autofocus effect, especially when he moves around like what you can see here. Now I really like this effect and uh, back in October I actually tried this out and it worked very well, worked just fine. So in the first part of his video he explains how to set this up and then in the second part back here he shows an even cooler effect where he uses this relations extras feature in a blender here to slow down the focus pulling. So like what you would get if you would manually focus pull or maybe your autofocus system isn't the fastest. This gives an, an even nicer effect. And back then this was actually available in uh, Blender 2.8 but it didn't work. And now uh, I came across a situation where I actually wanted this effect and I tried to recreate it and I couldn't figure out so I went back to this video, watched it again and realized that they took out this whole relations extras feature completely. So Blender 2.8 doesn't have this anymore and we don't get the slow parent feature anymore. So if you've seen any of my videos on my channel, you know that I'm a big fan of Animation Notes, which is a free add-on for Blender and it works in 2.8. If you want to download the latest build or if you want to see more videos, head over to crispy.zone. So I figured that there must be a way to uh, recreate this slow focus effect in with Animation Notes. And I found a way that I think does pretty much exactly the same and it's very easy to set up, so I want to show you quick. First, let me delete everything and I'm just gonna set up a very simple scene with a monkey and maybe two array modifiers. One going this way, one going that way. So we have something in our scene that we can use to focus on. I sadly don't have any cool dragon sculpts like Zacharias does. <laughs> um, then I quickly hide Suzanne and this is what he showed in, his, in the first part of his video, how to set up this uh, autofocus feature. So let's just recreate that quickly. We add a camera and we hit Alt R to reset the rotation and then we rotate it on the X axis 90 degrees so that we're looking backwards on the Y axis. So this is the positive Y axis. We also add this arrows empty. Here we can also see that this is the Y axis. Then we parent this empty to the camera. Okay, so if I move the camera, uh, the empty moves along with it. Now we have to go in here, we set the, take the empty, uh, add a constraint, shrink wrap. We wrap, shrink wrap it to Suzanne, our monkey. Uh, let's bring back the monkey. Let's take the camera and move it and you can see, oh, I have to set the shrink wrap align axis to project on the positive Y because that's that direction. So if I move the camera, we can now see that this uh, empty here basically always, always uh, is on the surface of the monkey. So here I can focus on the ear. Or if I move over, I'm focusing on the front of the monkey. So let me quickly bring up another window, go to animation nodes and maybe up here I split this and turn this into a camera view so we can see what's happening. Like that. I have walk navigation in my quick menu. And if I go to look depth mode and also turn the camera depth of field feature on, 
set the focus to this empty and the F stop to something really low. Then when we look through the camera, we get this, wow, this is very low. Maybe, I don't know, 0.3. So we get a very harsh effect. Let's also quickly give this a blue material or something. Okay, so over here we have, this is uh, where we're focusing, right? So this is, this is the focus point here. And then back there is out of focus and the front here is uh, out of focus. And if I now take my camera and look around, um, I can, now I'm focusing in the back, now I'm focusing in the front. The focus is always in the center of my camera view. And now to get this slow focus effect, slow autofocus or focus pulling effect, we're gonna use animation nodes. Hi, Suzanne again. So we're gonna add another empty. Let's take a sphere, scale it down a little. This is going to be where we want our focus to be. And this is where in uh, Zach's video, he used this relations extras feature and the slow parent. Now, instead, we are going to create a new animation nodes node tree. We can leave this on always for this one. So first we need the position of our actual focus of this empty. So we take an object input and hit the little eyedropper. Now let's take an object transform input and a viewer node. And let's look at the location and you will realize that if I move the camera now, although the empty moves along with it, for some reason, we don't get the location, but there is a fix for that. I don't know if this is a bug now in Blender or animation nodes. All of this is still beta and we just have to find workarounds, I guess. So instead of the transforms, transforms input, I take the matrix input for this object. And we can see that now if I move the camera, we actually get changes on this empty. So we can take a matrix uh, decompose and now we have the location of this empty. We can even just use this feature and we can save one node. Now I want the location of this empty. So same thing again, uh, use this empty and then what do we want? We want to move this empty to this location, but you know, kind of slowly. So it fades towards this location. That's what the, the slow parent feature did in Blender 2.79. So we just need to get the difference, which is vector math, uh, subtract this location or subtract this location from this location. So we know where we actually have to move. And then we take a vector offset. And we move this guy. Uh, before I do that, let me just switch this off real quick. So we move this, this guy to this location, but not right away. We want it to be slower. So let's do point something really slow, maybe just to show the, the effect zero five, right? So we offset this and then we need an object transform output because we actually have to move this object. The empties this one, we have to move it to this location. And that's pretty much it. Let's switch on Suzanne, take the camera so we can focus in the distance or close. Now we still have this set to this empty, but we want this empty. And I hope that this is working. Switch on always. And you can already see here, this guy now moves towards this empty, 
but sort of you know slowly with a, a delay with a with a lag so I can focus close and it gets in focus I can focus to the distance you can tell how maybe let's look at this uh, in full screen okay so now we're in focus looking at a distance See how we get a slow focus pull now? Looking far, looking close, looking far. And with this fall off here, we can adjust the speed of our focus. So when you look at this, this empty here, and I do this, look at far, look at near, you can see it moves fairly fast. And if we look up into the distance, so we're not hitting Suzanne, we get a completely out of focus image. So we can even simulate sort of a, a focus hunting of a camera with this cool feature. Now, just like uh, Zach said in his video, problem with this is this shrink wrap modifier for this empty only has one target. So if you have a finished scene and you have multiple objects, you might need to join them together. But that's it for this video. With this very simple note tree in animation notes here, we can simulate our slow focus, autofocus or focus pulling effect. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, check out all the, all the other videos. On here I have a bunch of videos uh, on animation notes if you're interested in that and all sorts of other stuff. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.